Baroness Lawrence uh, of Clarendon and I was appointed to House of Lords um, in 2013 by Ed Miliband and this was around all the work I'd done around Stephen's case and how we've managed to, after probably over 20 odd years, managed to get two of the, in, um, of the five convicted. And who's, who's inspired me and who's um, on my journey? Um, I've always used to say that as a young child growing up, who's been my grandmother, who um, she was like a matriarch um, within the village where um, we come from uh, out in Jamaica. And as time's gone by, um, I look to people like my Angelou, who I use her title and still I rise because I think with the journey that I've been on, it's, it just in, encapsulates the, the around and still I rise. And so she's somebody who um, I do admire. Okay, two miles son in my life, I would say completing my degree um, and that was a difficult moment because it was the same time when Stephen, my son Stephen was killed. So I actually completed my degree and, um, and I presume walking across the platform, that was a moment for me. And I think the second one is where I've now become um, the Chancellor of um, De Montfort University. Um, that's an achievement, you know, um, beyond expectation that you need know, to be thought of that way. And I did my very first graduation um, in July of this year. And that was really a moment for me. What's kept me going all through those um, difficult times? Um, I have two younger children and it was important for me to make sure that they had a future. Because um, had I just sat back and allow, because sometimes you can allow things to happen to you. And I decided that wasn't going to happen. So I needed to make sure that my children would be safe and not just my children, but other children as well. Thank you.